Hi, John here. I'm just ringing Robert the car. They're running to gear. Thank for your answer. Oh, wrong one. I was ringing King of Total. Hell, how did I get that wrong? Hmm. Where is it? Here. Blah, blah, blah. There. That's better. I was ringing King instead. <coughs> Today is Sunday the 18th of June 2017. Robert is in took Tokyo. He might answer, but if he doesn't, he doesn't usually um, make calls on a weekend, like. At the tone, record your message. Yeah, hi, you're I thought I thought you might be there, but uh, anyway, everything's okay this in. Um, we got a meeting on the 30th up north. Just check your email. I just sent you a few things. I've separated them all out now so that each one has got their own email. I've stopped all the emails going north now. Uh, they've got enough information to go on and some of them didn't want to receive the email anyway. But uh, we're not going to worry about that anymore. We're going full on now. as off the line. Okay? Bye. I'll catch you later. <clears throat> well, let's wrap up. I'll keep in touch with these guys. I do this because it's on record. Every time I talk to somebody, it locks them into that day, time, and memorial to what we are doing to make public awareness through the world who we are and where we're going with this flag and Britain, where it's going. It's, at the moment, it's going downhill right into a swamp where the rats set it up to go into with the Queen. The Queen is the most abhorrent person on this planet Earth and her royal family and Rothschild family married into her family that's screwed this whole flag up as pirates. They are the pirates that we're capturing with this flag to pull it back into the King's Bench Magistrate Court in Westminster Magistrate Court, Paddington, Westminster City, London, Britain, UK. <clears throat> so I'm just sending out emails to my crew. That's the only ones that I'm dealing with now. Um, I'll put everything as private now and not make public so much about what we do. You've got enough information from me on the videos. I've just done 30 eight videos, 38 videos out of, out of 1,131 videos on YouTube. That's how many videos we have running at the moment. And 38 of them I've just emailed out to our crew here in New Zealand and in Britain. Uh, so this is confidential now between each person that I sent one email at a time to all our crew. There's 12 of us all together in the Moai Crown King William IV Trust and this 1834 Declaration of War State of Emergency Financial Martial Law flag of the <coughs> King's Bench Native Grand Jury Court Trial Magistrate Court here in Auckland here and in uh, Waitangi Marae on that land with that ship there to Britain, that's a British ship, and us, this flag's going to fly on that ship, on that land, very soon. And to Britain, um, Magistrate Court. Westminster Magistrate Court in Paddington, um, Westminster City in London. And that's our court there for this flag we're going to raise there. And we'll raise it in Westminster Parliament, Buckingham Palace, and 
with King Ernest Augustus V that I'm petitioning at the moment online. Uh, we just got a slow start because I got banned from Facebook for three days for saying bad things, true things about Israel, the worst country in this world, of terrorists and ISIS and all this bullshit with the Americans and Donald Trump. They're all pirates on this side with the Queen and all her crown corporations, corruption, fraud, Panama Papers, the lot, paedophiles, the whole shoebang here against this flag that made the Admiralty Law in the Magistrate Court to credit these people in the Common Law Court and Natural Law against you pirates on the high seas with this flag right over the top of you. Okay, so I've got the Paramount Chiefs now to take to Britain <coughs> and to sit there with the Navy and the British Government and DUP, Northern Ireland, that's us, and uh, St. Patrick's Eight Point Star on this flag with King William III in Brussels, World Court, that's us on this side. That's our title with this flag as the jurisdiction of the Admiralty Magistrate Court in that World Court with King William III, our partner. That's our partner in business, private contract, Magistrate Court, Magistrate Court, Creditor, Bank, Moai, Bauhaus Bank, here in Netherlands, Dutch, German, Zealand, New Zealand to Brussels and that inheritance. The Freemasons are running it, but they're Scottish. They're Scottish. They're here with Mohi Manikau's title, Paramount Chief, Te Mati, Mohi Te Mati Manikau the Fourth, and be his executor and administrator of his business inside that Moriori Manikau company in Edinburgh, Scotland. Okay, so that's a commercial trading bank business, who we are with this flag is a trading bank commercial private contract of Admiralty Martial Law, Financial Martial Law, Corporate Crown, Maui Crown, King William the Third Crown, King William the Fourth Crown, King Ernest Augustus the Fifth Crown title holders. Okay? That's our partnership here. You got nothing here, nothing at all to stand up to this land. Okay, so we are taking control of this land right through the Pacific Islands with this flag. It's a World Trading Bank flag, the creditor over this lot of debtors, thugs, and pirates. So uh, today, uh, Sunday, the um, 18th of June 2017 and I'll be going up to the gym soon. Uh, did 60 laps yesterday in the pool and that's all the time I had to do it because I left late doing all this work and the petition, we set the petition in motion now and um, I've been doing some uh, thinking about all the videos I've got, 1131 or 1131 videos on YouTube that should be earning revenue. I see the House of Travel with its advertisements run across petition King Ernest Augustus V to the throne. I see the ads running across there. As you see, that's revenue. Something like a thousand dollars or pounds, well, call it US dollars, an ad. One ad. And <clears throat> the owner of the video should be getting 50% of that. That's $500 a pop. And all this year, so I haven't done anything about it yet since I've been on YouTube. There's a lot of videos over the last past six or eight years that should have been earning revenue. So I'm going to look at that today. And I'll teach Jamie how to do that, to look after that side of business. There's a lot of things to do, but I don't want her um, being confused about what job she wants. So I'm going to make one for her 
and that's a homegrown one because she hasn't made her mind up whether she's going with me around the world or staying home, one or the other. I'll leave that up to her because I'm not influencing any decision she makes since we've got back together and I'm not going to spoil what I'm doing uh, with this flag and the Maui crown and our titles to the world. Uh, she's more passionate with Maui and its cultural heritage in the Pacific Islands, the Cook Islands, and also um, with the art of um, her profession as an artist. Uh, so that's something personal, rather, her own ambitions. I had other ambitions for her. Uh, as an ambassador for the uh, world, for my, but that's um, not um, secure. I'm just making titles for those on the Maui Crown side of business as much as the Paramount Chiefs have their rights as business as well, since we're commercial now and not so much native too much, or natural, or natural law, or common law. It's not making any money at all to live on. So we're looking at that side of the natives in New Zealand as blueprints for the rest of the native countries in the world. And Harry, you're watching in Canada. Uh, you're seeing the final closure on this flag and its jurisdiction over all the other countries in the world who are screwing screwed by the Crown Corporation's private companies, using our flag, private company flag, for their corrupted fraud business. Okay? We'll take it off them with this. Strip all the admiralty right through the world using this flag and our contract. Private contract, two party, third party on this side. Are going to get walloped by these Paramount Chiefs and Sheriffs who will be trained up, trained up, the sheriffs will be trained up here and the rest of the world. I'll be going to Canada first and, uh, to see uh, the native Paramount Chiefs. So we're calling Paramount Chiefs, not any other name, because this is what's on the documents with our natives is Paramount, under this Paramount Mohi Timati Manukau the fourth as being a blueprint to the Moriori title in Edinburgh, Scotland, set up 1830, 1820 to 1830 period of time, and then implemented at 1830 with the birth certificate. That's what I'm talking about. The birth certificate is the native land title live person in a magistrate, magistrate man court. The magistrate is the bank, and that's how it works. All the other courts are subjected to the magistrate called bank, collection of the money, sheriff. Got that? That's how it works with this flag, the creator of all that commerce and its laws of admiralty sailing from one country to the other in the sea. And this is a free passage really anywhere in the world. We have 250 countries online on our website, moaipowerhouse.com. And those are the creditors, beneficiaries of this Moai Crown King William IV Trust with this King William IV flag here as the title bank, trading bank, commercial land title right there. Okay, you can't get any higher than that. Now I've been looking at on Facebook with this government here playing around with uh, laws that they think they're going to try and get above this law. Huh? They're, they're doing that now. I'll put it on when I get back on Facebook. They're using those laws, the old laws, way past where, where they're meant to go. With the 1840s, they can't go any further back in the jurisdiction of this government. They can't go back further than 1840 and they can't go back and do those laws that they think uh, they, they, they've got a right to go to. No, they can't step out of their country.
comfort zone in 1840, that's a chop. They can't go back. That's what I found in my treaty settlements. The government said, no, you've got to go as far as 1840. I said, look, here's the birth certificate from the monarchy. I was here. Look, it's saying he was here and you weren't here. And so they stopped being silly. They, they stopped being silly. I just forget what that law is. <coughs> um, uh, it'll come to my head at some stage. But I um, might have written it down somewhere. I should re write it, really write it down somewhere because it prompts me into remembering uh, those laws. Um, no, I haven't got it. Well, damn, no matter. Um, um, it's on the tip of my tongue, but anyway. Um, um, the government here is, is in a quandary. It's stuck on what it can and can't do to us on this side with that much going on online. You see everything I post and those videos, those 38 videos that I've just put on, I think it's 38 or 31. I mean, I'll just have a look. Um, 100, 1131 videos altogether and um, 30, maybe 31 videos that um, I've sent out uh, to our management team <coughs> to um, to see and learn from them. I'll be putting those 38 videos on Facebook. That, that's since the 18th today and the 1st of June. That many videos, I think it's 31, might be 31 videos all together in a short space of time. That's about two videos a day. Two videos a day um, hang on, I'll, 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 I've got it here somewhere. I'll, I'll just read the videos. Um, hang on a second. There's quite a lot of information I've just sent out. It's taken me all morning since about 7 o'clock. I've been writing all this time and sorting out uh, where we're going. Um, oh God. Uh, 38 videos, okay, now I've got it here, 38 videos, <coughs> these 38 videos are in order from 1st of June 2017 to the 18th of June 2017, so that's, that's about two videos a day I've put together and some of them are quite long. And I should be earning up to 2000 a week on the advertisements running on my 1131 YouTube videos I am exploring now to raise money. This is an example of paid TV advertisements making money from my 1,131 YouTube videos can be up to a thousand dollars each ad or half of what YouTube collects from the video advertisements of this company uh, House of Travel. Right, House of Travel has got its ads running across. Petition, Ernest Augustus the fifth into Westminster throne, King of Britain, UK by default. You see, they're running the ads across that, and I haven't monetized it, the video. And YouTube's been telling me to monetize it. That means pick up at least fifty percent of the revenue that that video puts out that belongs to me. That video with the copyright. Uh, on that video, okay, that I make. Uh, so the viewing is doesn't count. The amount of viewers doesn't count in revenue, uh, monetizing revenue. It's the amount of times the ad runs from that company each time they play it, right? So if they played it once in front of me, that's about a thousand dollars a pop that they are paying to have their House of Travel. I've, I've noticed a lot of travel companies are on my videos now. A lot of them are on my video. I haven't done anything about it until now. You can earn up to 11,000 11, a month. This is more like 1,100 a week. Right? 11, no, 1,100 a, a pop. Right? 
or 500, half of it. Half of it, and YouTube gets the other half. I get 50% of what they make. So if the big advertising companies or the companies, travel companies and that, put their ads on, they're paying a lot of money because people want to know about the king, the king that's come out of nowhere, and the flag that's come out of nowhere with some chiefs that say something true, and my crown is true, and the more they believe it, the more people are going to look to see what's in it for them, and what's the benefits to them, so you see? There's plenty of benefits to this side, the king side, from the queen side, to take that off them, seize all that wealth off them, trillions and trillions. I've got 970 million trillion trillion pound notes against that lot, split up for all you people watching and these advertising getting in the front of that. Hmm? That's just another angle to revenue that I've seen go past me and not bothered at all because I've got the chiefs to sort out first and the seabed to sort out first before the turbines go to the water. Once the turbine gets in front of them, they're going to go and jump all over it again at a thousand bucks or more, two thousand dollars a pop. Each time the ad runs across my tidal turbines, it's going to create revenue on its own and I've been reading how to do it. I've been reading how these guys making a lot of money just from sitting there playing with a computer and these YouTube videos they flick out. Yeah, you start making videos and put your own spin on it as long as it's unique to you. You can't just go and steal somebody else's ideas and their seals and kings and things and stuff and, and, and history and stuff and start making videos. You'll get in trouble. That's what I do when I go to the gym, right? When I go to the gym and the music's playing. The music has got a copyright on the music. Sends me an email that says they've got copyrights over my video. You see? So they're collecting the revenue off my video that I made in the swimming pool, swimming up and down the swimming pool a hundred times and six times under the water holding one breath, swim all the way. Six times, they're making revenue out of it. Goodness knows how much the song pays on my video because they put it there, they're paying YouTube to put the video on my swimming and my own video. They say they have copyrights to the music. I've got a copyright to the video not the music. I didn't say I want to put their music on. I can cut it out and put a nice song on instead of that. But if I put somebody else's song, they'll want their revenue too. You see, so I've got to figure out all my videos in the swimming pool and the gym to make sure that I cut it out and put a song there that I'll sing. I'll sing a song. A sixpence. Four and twenty blackbirds hanging in a tree ready to be shot down by this flag and a couple of chiefs. Hmm. So um, Johnny Likes, he's on my email and been following me in Canada. There's those guys that give me support, hereditary chief for Turtle Island and doing this for the people and the land so our kids have good life. There, that's him that's waiting for this flag to go to Canada. I'll go there with the flag uh, as an ambassador to that country and all the other countries in the world, 250 countries in the world, ambassador from Britain. I'm going to Britain and live in London and sort that lot out and those Muslims because as far as I'm concerned this flag will trump them all off the land because it's the king's land, not the queen's land. The Queen mischief put them all there. We're going to send them home with all this revenue from this lot of bunch of thugs, give it back to them and go back home, fix their land up, boot anybody out, all the pirates off the land. That's the Muslims, they can have their country back and boot everybody out of it. And then they can practice their 
culture there. Take it out of England because that's our culture over there with the way we live between there and here. Okay? You got that? That's how it works. We'll, we'll create the finance out of them to seize on all of them and give it back to you. How's that? You join Maui Crown, King William IV Trust, pay £25, that's all you have to pay to claim all that lot of 970 million trillion trillion pounds back and you've got a slice of it. One two hundred and fiftieth, one two hundred and fiftieth slice out of it. Everything we recover. The land here we recover, this country, New Zealand. We're starting from Cook Street, we're gonna see that lot. Kingy wants his Titi Marae land back, T P three blocks, Titi Marae land blocks, T T blocks there. <coughs> and the Paramount Chiefs wants the Waitangi land blocks back. Nati Rahiri and the Paramount Chiefs. Hmm? They want their land back. Uh, I'm taking our land back at Lot and Point. I've said that for a long time now. Now that we've got the title sorted and the flag and the seamen and everything and the British and the Crown Corporations sorted out on that side and the World Court, our court with this flag live now. It's not dead anymore. It's live, legal, legitimate with a legitimate king, King Ernest Augustus. He's already the king of Britain, UK, Hanover. Now he's the king of New Zealand, Pacific Islands, and the world, New World Order, in Brussels, Belgium, okay? Zealand to Belgium. Zealand here belongs to Brussels, our private partnership, nobody's business. Two party, third party, first party, second party, third party, pirate. Flag for pirates, take out the pirates, put the people back on their own land, then give them all the recovered funds to live on and ditto all the elite families in this racket on this side, the swamp racket. Rat, racket of the Queen and the Rothschild Banks and the Church and State and the IMF, World Bank and NATO and United Nations shooting everybody's heads off around the world for their wealth. Okay, that's all. I'm going to finish off sending the emails out then off to the gym before 2 o'clock. Uh, we'll see you later uh, at the present time. Um, we are just, I'm just finished off the petition and, oh, not finished, just continue with it and fill out the pieces that are missing and tomorrow I'll be back on Facebook and put it on there. We have two people who have signed up now and uh, that's the first hundred of the first hundred to sign up to the petition King Ernest Augustus by right of inheritance to this flag and King Ernest Augustus the first and King William the fourth, King George the fourth, the brothers of King George the third and King William the third of Orange Brussels as our other partner to uh, William the Conqueror and to King Solomon. All that line is this side and this flag. That's our side uh, that I'm promoting with uh, King Ernest Augustus. We're going to um, um, petition him into Westminster Parliament as the King of Britain, UK, and as soon as possible before we go there. We'll set that all up and we have to get the British people and the world for that matter because he's a world, this is a world flag in the four corners of the earth. It's the eight point star of St. Patrick's Church in this flag and not just Britain. 
So we're appealing to the whole world watching that you have a stake in what we recover with this flag of Admiralty Recovery, Salvage, Laws of King William IV, 1830-1837, that we use, legally can use, as our own paramount chiefs, dual government with Britain, ahead of this other government in Wellington. We have a federal state government running right now in Titi Marae Grand Jury Court, Magistrate Court, NATO. We're already in business and we're going to set it up in Cook Street. The Maui Crown, King William IV, Federal State, Commonwealth Government of the World, on that land block before we set up a new building on Cornwall Park. Once you and put the memorial up the top of the building higher than John Logan Campbell. The building and its memorial right up the top would be higher than that over Auckland. So that's the end of that memorial's authority over these lands in Auckland. Okay, we've got our memorial and the obelisk, we'll have an obelisk straight to Africa. The bloodlines are us on this side, to that pyramid and those obelisks. Okay, so that's all I'm going to say for now, and um, enjoy yourselves. All those people watching these videos, I hope you learn from them, and uh, we'll only get better as they go on. Okay, bye for now. See you.